I saw the pilot for Almost Human. I loved it. Favorite pilot of the season oh, by really? far. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Now, I want to know, for those who haven't seen it yet, how would you describe it to them? How would you describe Almost Human? Almost Human is a, uh, a, uh, a cop show that's set 40 years in the future. It's a story about a human detective who's partnered up with an android, with a robot. I play the character of John Kennex, and he's a character who comes out of a coma. He's been in a coma for two years, and he, and he awakens from that to find himself in a world that's vastly different to the one he knew. And he's struggling to, to operate in this world, to, to function in this world. The thing that makes this kind of show really cool, I think, apart from, apart from the characters, which you care deeply about, uh, is the fact that it, it's, it, this show looks, it canvases technology that's just around the corner. This isn't science fiction. This stuff is in the pike. It is coming our way. And to me, that's infinitely interesting and exciting. So I asked Michael the same question. What was the word he thinks defines this show? He said friendship. What do you think? Oh, that's a good one. Um, uh, the one word? Humanity. It's a good one, too. Now, uh, if you had the choice to live in any sci-fi universe of your choice, futuristic universe, which one would you go for? Sorry, if I had the choice to live in any... Sci-fi, futuristic universe. I can tell you what Michael said. Um, I think I would go for... You know what? I would probably go for the Star Trek universe, and I'll tell you why, because... It aspires to be the best of humanity. It is a world in which war has been relegated to the distant past, and man is focusing on the exploration of space. Um, to me, that is, that's infinitely interesting.